it's uh, there is this uh, at least in Finland uh, appreciation of uh, of technology uh, science and technology driven thinking. And uh, then there, there are studies that only 4%, only 4% of innovations are coming from straight from the uh, high-tech laboratories of technological uh, scientific laboratories. From that need, uh, in our unit, uh, 15 years ago, we started to, to build this kind of practice-based innovation concept. The concept kind of a author of the concept is Esa Harmakon, the innovation professor, first innovation professor in Finland. And uh, it is about that uh, if there is a, uh, we need a kind of a context, we need a practical context where the, the, the problem or the phenomenon is raised, raising. But it doesn't, the, uh, uh, the practice space doesn't mean that it is solved only with the practice knowledge. knowledge. So it is, it is uh, meaning that, that uh, in, the in that problem, the definition of the problem, the, sol the, the solutions and the whole uh, process involves different type of, of uh, and modes of knowledge. But it is highly uh, coming from the need of, of a practice. And in our university, it has been a, a lot of uh, either societal issues or then organizational issues. So, uh, combining this uh, practice-based knowledge and scientific knowledge <coughs> together. And then uh, the idea of this practice-based innovation, for example, uh, like in, in the case of a uh, Finnish uh, railway, organization, all these landscape uh, designers, is that each actor in, in an organization, employees, uh, customers, uh, are uh, competent to be part of developing things. So it is not only happening in an R&D unit. I don't know, does it make any Sense, but uh, it, it fits kind of a, how to say, Nordic way of, of, of uh, working and organizing. We have quite a low uh, uh, mattress organizations. There are only a few organizations in Finland that, that the CEO's store would be open. So there are very high status differences. And of course, status differences, but it's quite, uh, how to say, easy going in a way that we have an access to, to go to the, the managers or, or, for example, there's a one industrial organization uh, I've been working uh, so that the, the top level, CEO level managers are eating their lunches in the same space, same table uh, than the operation by people, which I have noticed that is not happening in everywhere, in other countries. And then I'm going to draw this amazing picture of the innovation process. So it's like a... I have also seen a, a, in a pedagogical context totally different image. So there is a fussy front end, there is a back end, then there's a diffusion. And uh, uh, research where I've been involved is mainly been happening here. So, and the, uh, by the innovation, I mean, or we generally mean that there is, uh, uh, it can be product, it can be service, it can be a process. Uh, but it is something that it is in use, and there is a value for those who are using it. It can be social value, it can, it can be cultural value, it can be economical value. But as we were yesterday talking uh, during the dinner, Paul and me, you pointed out that, 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 that there is a 
part of a situation that the CEOs are talking a lot of, about this sustainable uh, sustainability uh, values of organization. And simultaneously, we are still uh, uh, really much leaning on, on the numbers. So there is kind of a, I would say, Not a, not, no, kind of, kind of a, there is a coin, so there is a one side uh, the sustainability, not only uh, uh, organization uh, uh, fulfilling their, their uh, economical interest and, and outcome whatever price. And so there is this sustainability and then there still is this that you need to, to function your, your business in a money wise or number wise. So, uh, uh, th th this means that, uh, for example, if it would be uh, VR, there would be like uh, uh, different kind of actors in this facet front end in organizations. There would be different uh, uh, customers, uh, employees, uh, people from different uh, uh, part of the organization. So VR is a huge company. So the basically there is a first kind of a, what I would sort of a define that there need to be kind of a culture, building of culture of this type of, of doing that. It's okay that we try to develop also. We do our job as good as we can and then we also uh, are experts how to do what we do. So that needs the kind of a culture of, of, of its own. It's not the kind of a naturally uh, in organizations and that. So there is like a lot of ideas, a lot of interaction, a lot of interpretations, then there are different kind of a, uh, ways of aha, the defining problem like aha, we, uh, uh, this specific uh, uh, idea or solution might fit to this. <coughs> And then there is a process, uh, probably in the afternoon, tell a more detailed, a process of aha, and then there will be, this would be more like a design process, prototyping, testing, commercializing, and then it would be in the market, <coughs> or in, 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 in uh, if it's not a, if it's not an economical innovation, if it's like a social innovation, it will be in the hands of the users. And uh, I've been working in this kind of a context. So uh, uh, there has been arts-based research and development in this area. <coughs> we'll share some ideas about it. Uh, and then there has been uh, also here, and we'll share some about in that area. But the, the thing we are today talking about, there is a, this one uh, kind of a, that there is two interests uh, existing in a, in a simultaneously in an organizational setting. So there is this kind of a need or, or research interest, and then there is a development interest. And that's also sometimes uh, can be confusing. <coughs> While you are involving something, you are really like uh, how uh, how near you are the issue you are uh, trying to solve or, or, or change, or how far you are. Kind of a proximity and distance, distance. And I think that's one of the challenges in arts-based research methods. In a way, to diff so that the researcher herself or himself can kind of, uh, define her his position. And sometimes it's uh, you are more involved in one stage, and then there can be another stage when you you have a more distance in the issues you are. Now I think I would invite you, Sari, to share your experience and your practice.